this is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create these 3D style calligraphy letters using the Blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. But before we get started, if you'd like to level up your logo design skills, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I go over my entire creative process for coming up with logo ideas and implementing them from start to finish. I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So we'll get started here in Illustrator. I'm just going to create a new document sized at 1280 by 1280 pixels, as you can see here. I'm going to come up here to where it says View. I'm just going to deselect where it says Snap to Pixel. We don't want anything enabled from this View menu here. And from the Window menu, we're going to want Control, Align, Color, and Gradient. And over here where it says Align, just make sure the Align 2 is set to the Artboard, where it says Align to Artboard. Go ahead and enable that. And what I'm going to do now is create a text object on the canvas. So I'm going to grab the text tool, click on the canvas, come up here and choose a nice calligraphy style font. I'm going to go with something like a Heather Oliver regular. You can use whatever font you'd like. This is a premium font I'll be using for this tutorial. I'll have a link in the description if you want to use this same font. And for this video, just for the demonstrative purposes, I'm just going to apply this to the letter B. So I'm going to create a capital letter B. I'm going to grab the Select tool and scale this up. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt so it locks the proportions. Now I want to create outlines from this text object. So I'll go to Type and click on Create Outlines. And again, just center this up on the canvas like that. I'm going to bring the opacity of this and bring this down roughly in half like that. Maybe make this a little bigger. And what I want to do now is create a single line. I want to basically trace over this letter with the pen tool or the pencil tool, whatever you prefer. I want to create a single line in the shape of this letter here. So let me click off of that to deselect it. I'm going to grab the pen tool, which is over here. And I'm going to where it says uh, where we have the foreground and the background here. I'm going to flip this around so that there's no fill color and there is a black stroke color. And I'm going to zoom in at the bottom of this letter over here by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. And I'm going to click to create points going through the letter here just so I can manually move those lines to make them take the shape of this letter here. Now let me press enter to finish that. Let me come over here to the anchor points tool and I'll click and drag this line to make it take the shape of the letter there. And then you could just go through and adjust these handles and do the, do the same thing to the rest of the line. Basically we're going to make this line trace the shape of this letter here. Okay, once we're finished, we should have a line that traces the shape of the letter. What we could do now is go back to the Select tool and take this actual letter and just move it off the canvas. We don't need this anymore. All we need here is this single line. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a custom shape that's what we're going to use to trace the shape of this line. So I'm going to grab the Circles and Ellipses tool. I'm going to click and hold over this tool over here, the Rectangle tool, so we can get the Ellipse tool. Basically, I'm going to create the shape of uh, what would I guess what would be kind of like a calligraphy brush. I'm going to click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. Let me bring the uh, opacity down in half like that. And to, to make the, the circle perfectly round, I'm holding Shift and Alt while I click and drag to do that. So go back to the Select tool, click and drag the circle, then hold Shift and Alt to lock it onto the horizontal axis like that and bring this over here. We're going to have this copy right here. And what we're paying attention to is right here, the intersecting area between these two objects. So I'm going to click and drag over both of those to select them both. I'll come over here to the Pathfinder tab. If you don't have the Pathfinder tab visible, you can just go to Window and click on Pathfinder to enable that. And I want to click on Intersection over here. And it's going to create an intersection from those two shapes. Now I could take the opacity and bring it back up. And I'm actually going to rotate this around slightly. If you bring your cursor to the outside of the corner, you're going to see the icon, the cursor icon changes into a rotation icon. And once you get that, you can just rotate it counterclockwise ever so slightly just to give it kind of like a slant like that. And now I want to make another copy of this. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I want to give this a gradient. So come over here to the gradient tool, click on that. And I'm just going to double click this black stop over here to change that. I'm going to make this a, let me come over here to RGB. I'm going to make this like a dark shade of pink like that. And I'm going to come over here and do the same thing, only I'm going to use a lighter shade of pink. Much lighter, maybe something like that. That right there is what I'm looking for. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to create a duplicate copy of it. I'm going to click and drag, then hold Shift and Alt and bring it over here like that. Click and drag over both of these objects and go to Object, Blend, 
and click on blend options. And in the options here, I want to choose specify distance and I want to use one. I'm just going to use one pixel. You go ahead and click OK. And then we can go to object, blend, make. And now what I want to do is I'm going to use this as a sample to trace over this. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to hold shift and alt and scale that down a little bit. I don't want that to be that big. The, the thickness of this object is going to represent the thickness of the line here once it's applied. So right there, if I'm just eyeballing it, that looks pretty good. I'm going to select that, hold shift, select that. So we have them both selected. And then I go, go to object, blend, replace spline. And if you notice here, it took that object and kind of like dragged it along that line there to create that cool looking shape. And if you want, you can edit this further. I'm going to click on this and go to object, blend, and I'm going to click on reverse spline. I'm sorry, reverse reverse spine. There we go. Now it has like a different, you could tell the, the, that the, uh, the direction in which it was drawn was changed. If I undo that, you'll see it was like that. Then it was like that. I personally like this better, but it's just a matter of personal preference. So um, I think that should do it for today's tutorial. That's how you can go about creating those uh, simple 3D style calligraphy letters using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.